When people are talking emotional intelligence, there's really five stages. The first is recognizing your own emotions. Second is then understanding how to use those emotions and keep them under control appropriately. The next piece, and again an internal aspect of it, is the idea of how then that drives your motivation. From there, the next two are much more externally focused. Once you have that understanding of how you react, it is looking at others, seeing how they react, how they use their emotions, how that impacts your communications with them. The final stage is then being working with those emotions, with your own emotions, so that you're building a bond with each other, coming, understanding where people are coming from, that you can come from that same place. Emotional intelligence is all about working with people, about communicating with people, understanding their reactions, and that just ties into everything that has to do with internal audit. We have meetings with people, we have discussions with people, we have heated discussions with people as we come up with issues and, and findings, and this is about understanding not only your reactions to them, but how they are reacting to you, and learning how to work with that to do better. Beyond that, because so much of the focus is when people think internal audit and emotional intelligence, they do tend to think about the working with the auditees and the clients and the customers. But it is more than that. It's also a part of how you work with your own team, how you build a team, how you as a manager develop the people around you, how you as an auditor work with the people around you. It even gets into how people hire and what they're looking for in the people. So it's everything that has to do with interpersonal relationships and better understanding how those relationships work. Emotional intelligence is important for internal auditors. It's important for anybody. The research is continuing to show that IQ is only about 10% of what causes success for true superstars, even up at the highest levels. EQ, emotional intelligence, is a huge portion of it. Not 90%, but still a major portion of it. So if, if someone is hiring and they're hiring internal auditors and testing for EQ, which is starting to happen more and more, then it will be a better indicator of success than a lot of the questions going on. So this again is why EQ is important for the person that's hiring. They have to be able to listen to and see what the responses are and how this person is doing to see, to get that feel for the EQ from the other person's side. The biggest way to enhance your emotional intelligence is just to start recognizing your reactions and why they occur and how they happen. A great example I heard is to think in terms of when you're driving a car and somebody pulls in front of you and you get mad at them. A lot of reasons to get mad at them, but to understand that really the basic reason for that response is endangerment. You actually got scared because you were endangered, understanding that reaction. The minute you understand that's a reaction to something, you start to understand, wait a minute, that's why people are responding to internal audits the way they are. You're endangering their career. You're endangering the way they work. So. The first step really is kind of know thyself and why you react the way that you do and how you do that. And then you can take that and start watching what goes on. I think auditors do a good job of sometimes sitting back, but I'm not sure they always absorb what they're seeing. They're listening to information rather than trying to understand, have the empathy necessary to see how those reactions go. And that's where emotional intelligence really comes in, where you start sitting back and watching not just the words that are said, but what's said behind them.